Have you ever wondered how one land, one people, became two distinct nations? This is the story of Korea. Let's travel back in time to the cradle of Korean civilization, where the ancient kingdoms of Goguryeo, Silla, and Baekje once thrived. Each kingdom, unique in its own right, contributed to the rich tapestry of Korean culture and history. They brought forth advancements in arts, sciences and technology, shaping the region into a significant cultural hub. Fast forward a few centuries and we find ourselves in the era of the Joseon dynasty. A time of unity, where the peninsula was governed under a single rule, nurturing a distinct Korean identity. This period saw a flourishing of literature, philosophy and a national script, Hangul, which is still in use today. Yet as history often reminds us, times of peace and prosperity are seldom permanent. But as we know, the harmonious story of the Korean peninsula didn't last forever. The dawn of the 20th century saw a dark cloud over the Korean peninsula. With the dawn came the chilling winds of invasion and occupation as the land of the rising sun, Japan, extended its imperial reach to the Korean peninsula in 1910. For 35 gruelling years, the Korean people endured a cultural, economic and psychological onslaught. The Japanese strived to erase Korean identity, banning the use of the Korean language in schools and even forcing Koreans to adopt Japanese names. Economically, Korea was exploited for its resources and labour, causing widespread poverty and hardship. The occupation years left an indelible mark on the Korean psyche, shaping their resilience and fostering a strong sense of national pride. Years of resistance and the tireless fight for independence were a testament to the indomitable spirit of the Korean people. And then, in 1945, the Second World War ended. But for Korea, a new struggle was about to begin. 1945 was a pivotal year for Korea, a time of hope, but also of division. As World War II came to an end, Korea, previously under Japanese rule, was liberated. But liberation brought with it unexpected complications. The victorious Allied forces, namely the United States and the Soviet Union, decided to split the Korean peninsula along the 38th parallel line. This division was intended to be temporary. However, the ideological differences between the East and West during the Cold War led to the establishment of two separate governments. In the North, we saw the formation of a communist state backed by the Soviets, while the South established a democratic government with the backing of the Americans. The ideological divide was not just a political matter, it seeped into the lives of the Korean people, splitting families and communities. The division of Korea was not just a line drawn on a map, it was a deep and painful wound in the heart of the Korean people. These escalating tensions eventually led to the Korean War in 1950, a brutal and bloody conflict that further deepened the divide. The war saw brother fighting against brother, a nation torn apart by its own people. And so, the Korean War came to a stalemate in 1953, leaving us with the two Koreas we know today. From the ashes of war, two distinct nations rose, each with its own path. North and South Korea, born from the same peninsula, have journeyed through the decades since their split, developing along starkly contrasting lines. In the north, a socialist state was established under the leadership of the Kim dynasty. The country's economy has largely been state-controlled, with agriculture, industry and military sectors taking precedence. Society too has been shaped by the state's ideology, with a focus on collectivism and loyalty to the regime. Meanwhile, South Korea embarked on a different journey. It embraced a democratic political system and a capitalist economy. Rapid industrialization and technological advancement fueled its growth, transforming it into one of the world's leading economies. South Korean society flourished with the rise of pop culture phenomena like K-pop and Korean dramas, which have swept across the globe. Yet, despite their divergent paths, the two Koreas have not entirely severed their ties. Tensions certainly have waxed and waned over the decades, there have been periods of open hostility and moments of cautious dialogue. But underneath it all, there remains a shared history, a shared culture. From traditional hanbok clothing to the spicy tang of kimchi, from ancient palaces to modern skyscrapers, the spirit of Korea endures. Despite the division, the shared history and culture still connect the people of North and South Korea, 
a testament to the resilience and spirit of the Korean people.